Sarpity and I'm delighted to be here taking you on a mini tour of the beautiful farm quilts that are at the Iverson Gallery of Fine Art. We're thrilled that Evelyn was one of the first people to jump on the farm quilt bandwagon and has gorgeous farm quilts on her, on her barns and we strongly suggest you come and visit them. We enjoy them here in Hammond every day and we feel very fortunate. The first one we're going to talk about is the Mariner's Compass. This is also the first one that Evelyn first block that I chose. I wanted it to hang large and beautiful on the front of the barn. Who knows what lies in the minds and hearts of people as they drive by on the highway at all hours of the day and night. The compass shows us the way when we are lost, so it is intended to be an image of hope for people as they pass by. This block is called Untying the Knot. The Celtic three hairs is a mysterious motif that dates back to the 7th century. It can be found all along the silk route between China and the British Isles. It has been found in caves from ancient China and appears in many English, Irish, and Scottish cathedrals. It has recently proved popular among quilters and barn quilters. This design appealed to me immediately for its Celtic reference. Our house was built, owned, and occupied by Scots, and my mother was a Davidson, and also for its abstract incorporation of the three hairs, as cottontails run rampant around our house. Many scholars have written about the mystery surrounding this motif and its mystical implications. Traditionally, the Celtic knots in the design are more complex and the hairs appear more abstract. I asked Pam to simplify the design so that it could be appreciated from a distance. What Pam did is extraordinary. She simplified the knot and created an implied spiral. The hairs in Pam's design are filled with life and joy. The next block we're going to talk about is the swallow block. Over the last close to 20 years, we have shown my husband Paul Stapier's artwork in our barn during the summers. Year after year, we would have an opening and invite the community. On these beautiful summer evenings, we would share the most amazing potluck suppers and our friend Alex Raykov, Renaissance musician, together with his friends and family, would perform for us in the barn. Among our happy guests, were the swallows, who nested in the rafters, fed their young, or just settled in to listen. Hence, it seemed only fitting we should let the swallows know they will always be welcome here. Their block can be seen on the left side of the milking parlor of the barn, next to the dragonfly block. Not many people know that naturalists from all over the world have traveled up to a beautiful wildlife refuge in our backyard. Indian River Lakes Conservancy to study the untold numbers and varieties of the endangered dragonfly. To show our support of our Earth's fragile ecosystem, the cause dear to the heart of Iva Smith, after whom we named our gallery, we chose this block. The conservative colors of the block were selected as a sign of gratitude for the friendship of our Amish neighbors, whose lives remind us that less is more. This barn quilt is called Home. Credit for this elegantly simple image of harmony goes once again to local artist, inspiration, and friend, Pamela Winchester. The image that serves as the cover for her book, March's Tale, rendered in beautiful muted tones of peach and gray, represents Pam's unique vision of community harmony. Our barn quilt was sized up from one to four square feet and painted in the radiant colors of summer. The images represent the sunrise over Black Lake, the sun setting over the St. Lawrence, flying geese around the periphery, the rolling green fields that surround us and the stream that runs through Hammond Village where travelers going north and south would stop to refresh their animals. 
the center diamond is home. This block is called Double Wedding Ring Modern. Walking around to the back of the barn are large doors that we throw open wide during weddings. This is where couples traditionally have made their first entrance as husband and wife while friends gather around the loft railings above to share the joyous moment. Inspired by the exuberant modern quilts of Victoria Findlay Wolf, and with gratitude for aesthetic guidance and cheerleading of local artist and inspiration Pam Winchester, this modern double wedding ring quilt block represents a spirit of freedom, celebration, and diversity. It is our hope that it may be enjoyed by many and serve as a backdrop to many happy moments. This block is called the Butterfly Block. Shortly after we purchased our Hammond home in 1994, I found an original copy of the book Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. This book, overlooked by family and left behind, told me that Iva Smith had been among the first to read this now famous wake-up call to the nation about the dangers of pesticide use. Continuing with our theme of reverence for our sacred Mother Earth and the many fragile species it houses, I asked Pam to design me a butterfly block above a butterfly garden. She managed to incorporate the entire life cycle of the monarch butterfly, and if you look closely, you can see the little caterpillars, the meek milkweed, and the beautiful butterfly that emerges. This block is called Square Root and Seven. Along with a love affair with the North Country and the St. Lawrence River, my husband Paul was crazy about geometry. This block is based on one of his drawings and Mary Knapp was kind enough to draft it for me and liberated my color choices. The original drawing was done in a muted restrained palette with pencil and pastel. The block is intended to hang near the entryway to our new summer art gallery. Our tour of the Iva Smith Memorial Gallery ends uh, with the love work, the love work which is a tribute to the fine art of applique, once again designed by artist Pamela Winchester. This was created in 2018 as part of the Hammond Barn Quilt Trails uh, garden tour which integrated barn quilts and gardens. Our barn quilt tribute to applique incorporates a raised bed vegetable garden. The garden uh, vegetables are all in right now and it was intended and is intended to be a love offering to our community. Thanks to Lisa Sarfati and all the ladies that work with her in creating our beautiful barn quilt tour. Come and celebrate the beauty of quilting with us in Hammond, 